Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Hi, so in this particular video we are absolutely definitely at the A, A star end of the uh, GCSE papers that you're going to be attempting. These types of questions can take a little bit of time before we've been using things like um, elimination to solve simultaneous equations. With this we're going to use a method of substitution. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully work this through but you will need some of the skills in some of the other videos. If you're not entirely sure then please have a look at some of the playlists or or add a comment below and I'll be pleased to explain this. Okay, so the first thing is, is you've got two equations which are operating together. So you've got x squared plus y squared equals 9. You've also got x plus y equals 2. Well, the good thing about the second equation is that it also allows us to write this. We can say that x equals 2 minus y and we can also write y equals 2 minus x. And all I've done really is taken this second equation and rewritten it. And then I'm going to use that idea to feed into this first equation here by substituting. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take this value of y, which we know is 2 minus x, and I'm going to put it in here. OK, so let's do that. So I'm going to rewrite this first equation as x squared plus, and rather than writing y here, I'm going to write 2 minus x squared. OK, 2 minus x squared. Because all I've done then is substituted the y value and that equals 9. OK, so what we need to do then is just start to work this through in a way that kind of makes sense. Alrighty, so the first thing is, is I'm going to say that I'm going to multiply out these brackets. So I've got x squared and then I've got 2 minus y squared. Well, that's exactly the same as saying 2 minus x, sorry, 2 minus x squared is 2 minus x times 2 minus x, and that equals 9. Alrighty. Now, let's just look at uh, multiplying out these brackets. So I've got x squared plus, and I've got 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times minus x is minus 2x minus x times 2 is minus 2x, and then minus times a minus is a plus, x squared, and that all equals 9. OK, I hope that's been OK for you, because this way of multiplying out the brackets might be slightly different for certain for certain people in the way that you might have been taught. It will all amount to the same sort of thing, so there's no great problem at all. OK, then I'm just going to really tidy this up and just gather up the like terms. So I've got x squared plus x squared, so that's going to give me 2x squared. And then I've got minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x. And then I've got plus 4 and equal to 9. OK, now the thing about solving a quadratic is that you need to make sure that it's equal to 0. So what we're going to do, or the way we're going to solve this to make it equal to 0, so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring that 9 over to this side, which will become then minus 9. So I've got plus 4, minus 9 will give me minus 5, and that's going to be equal to 0. OK, so that looks a little bit easier to deal with. What I'm going to do now is use something called the quadratic formula. Now I have looked at trying to find a way to solve this without using a formula, but unfortunately it's just not going to make not going to help at all. So I'm afraid we're going to have to use the quadratic formula which is going to be x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and that's all divided by 2a. Okay now in this particular uh, quadratic formula this is the value of a minus 4 is the value of b and minus 5 is the value of c. So I'm going to put that straight into the formula itself. So minus b, well a minus times a minus is a plus, so b becomes 4. Okay, plus or minus 
the square root of b squared, well that's minus 4 squared, minus 4, and a is going to be 2, and c is going to be minus 5, and that's all divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. OK, I hope that's OK for you. I'm very aware that this is starting to get a little bit more complicated, but it does kind of work out all right in the end. All right, so I'm just going to move the paper up a little bit so that you'll be able to then carry on uh, from working through this particular uh, formula. All right, so the next thing is we need to get rid of all this sort of bits and pieces underneath the square root sign. So let's just tidy that up a little bit. And this is where it can be a little bit trickier. So you've got 4 plus or minus the square root of. Okay, so I've got minus 4 squared is going to be minus 4 times minus 4, which is 16. And then I've got and this is where you have to be a little bit careful. I've got minus. Now, if I just ignore that minus and everything else, I've got 4 times 2 is 8 times minus 5. Well, 8 times minus 5 is going to be minus 40. But don't forget it's minus there. So it's going to be minus 40 times minus. So therefore, it's going to be plus 40 because a minus times a minus is a plus. And I'm going to divide that all by 4. So if I wanted to rewrite that a little bit, I'd rewrite that as 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 40 is 56 divided by 4. And actually that's now going to give me my two solutions. So my two solutions are going to be 4, so uh, equals 4 plus the square root of 56 over 4, or 4 minus the square root of 56, all divided by 4. OK, hope that's all right for you. And then basically, I would just put that straight into a calculator. If I put that straight into a calculator, I get the solution that x equals 4 plus 56 over 4 is 2.87 or minus 0.87, and those are my two solutions. Okay, so we're just about on the home straight now. So we know now that there are two values of x, one of which is 2.87, the other which is minus 0.87. So we need to then work out, using these values, the two values of y. Okay, so all I'm going to do is plug it straight into the x plus y equals 2 equation. So when x equals 2.87, we've got 2.87 plus y equals 2. Well, the only way that would work is if y in this particular uh, equation is going to equal minus 0.87, because if that's the case, then we've got 2.87 minus 0.87 would equal 2. So therefore, when x equals 2.87, in this particular case, y equals minus 0.87. So that's my first coordinates. The second coordinate is when x equals 0.87. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I've got x plus y equals 2 minus 0.87 plus y equals 2. Well, when that's the case, the only way in which that would be correct is where y equals 2.87. So effectively, I've got minus 0.87 plus 2.87 equals 2. OK, so let me just write those out. So in this particular case, when x equals minus 0.87, y equals 2.87. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. What I've done now is I've gone to an online uh, graphing calculator. It's called Desmos, and you can look it up and you can plug in these particular uh, equations yourself and you can have a look at them and you can clearly see that where the two lines intersect I've uh, we've been quite accurate with our results in this particular case the graphing calculator has given us the results to three uh, decimal places whereas we've worked them out to two
I hope that's been okay for you. It's been a very long video, but please do uh, like, comment, subscribe to the site. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video, and thanks ever so much for the question.